Steve, did you deserve a point at the end of that in the end? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I feel as though we did, yeah. Um, we give ourselves a mountain to climb, didn't we, really, you know. We've, uh, we've not done well from the throw-in, give away a throw-in, you know. And, this uh, is the first goal? For the first goals, yes. And um, obviously from a corner, you know. It doesn't matter how you play, if you don't do better from that throw-in and you don't do better from a corner, then it, it doesn't matter how you play, it doesn't matter what formations, it doesn't matter who's on the pitch, you've got to do better from that. And um, I think there's, a, you know, there's like a, a reoccurring thing probably with the goals that have been conceded this season. Um, and then we have to try and dig ourselves out of a, out of a huge hole. So very difficult on a, on a night like tonight, you know, it's, um, it's demoralising for the players really because they've put in a shift. You know, if we get that goal back before half time where Sam Bullock hits the post, you know, you're thinking that that ends up being one of the goals of the season if he scores from there. All of a sudden we're back in the game. Um, and then the second half, I mean, I think, I think we pinned them in there, second half. I know that there's the win, but, you know, we had our opportunities. I'm not so sure they had too many opportunities in the second half. We had a few in the first. So overall, yeah, I do think we deserved at least a point from that. But we've had enough balls that have whizzed across the goal. Um, in the second half, we've got to be more ruthless with our chances because we know at some stage, whatever team, you're going to concede a goal. But we need to be more ruthless. We played well enough tonight to at least get a draw out of that game on a, on a, on a, on a night. And it was absolutely shocking out there tonight. You know, absolutely shocking. Let's talk about the conditions then. I mean, obviously... That's what I was talking yeah, about, really. It, it, did, did it... Um, was it ever in, in doubt that the game would go ahead or be called off? Was it that bad out there? Um... Well, I think the ground staff, to be fair to them, have done a fantastic job to, to get the game on. Um, but, you know, there has been... I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to see... Well, it's, uh, I wouldn't have wanted to see... I wouldn't have minded seeing a downpour, I suppose, tonight. But if we, if them Evans would have opened much more out there tonight, then for sure that game could have been off, you know. It, it, you know, it was shocking tonight. I mean, you know, not just the water, but, but um, you know, the wind as well. I mean, Jesus, you know, the last two games, the wind we've had here, blimey. And you don't want those games when you're at home. You want them when you're away from home because it doesn't allow the home team to get any sort of tempo going in the game, you know. And um, we've given them two goals, then all of a sudden their confidence grows in the game, doesn't it? So um, we're a little bit disappointed with that. But we deserve more than we got tonight and we didn't quite get it. But, um, you know, I think, as I said the other day when we won, this season's going to be like this. I mean... What we've got to bear in mind with Coventry is they've had 10 points deducted this season and now they're only 9 points off the playoffs. So they would be in the playoffs. So we know where they are, you know, we know they're a good side and we've, we've given them a right good game tonight. Um, it be interesting to know what their manager thought, but, you know, he'll be thinking it's a great win for them tonight for sure. Yes, exactly what he's just said actually. Uh, in yeah. terms of your midfield, um, you tried a fresh three in there tonight. Yeah. Um, where, where are you with the midfield, do you think, in, in terms of those two games where you've played two different ones? Um, where am I with the midfield? Probably the same as what I was when I come in the door. You know, I can't quite pin down on a regular basis who are my best midfield. And uh, for one reason or another, we can't, or I can't seem to get to that because it means I'm not, I'm not happy with the permutations I'm getting. So that's why I change it. I don't know whether... Um, you know, I don't know whether all of them as well can play game after game, whether whether it's strength or fitness or whatever it is. You know, until we can, till we can get to that point, we might not get to that point all season. Don't forget, we're in that we're in that run of games where you play a game on that pitch and then you try to play a game on it three days later. You know, and we've had a few of those. And this seven game period in in the 22 days, you've you've got to try and rotate. You've got to try and do that. And at this moment in time, I mean, it, you know, when you look at it tonight, you know, there's nothing wrong with the midfield tonight in the first half or the second half. There's, there's nothing wrong with them. You know, Marlon Pax come on tonight, who ended up coming off um, at Brentford after 45 minutes and ended up having an impact on the game. So, you know, it's not, it's not just all about the midfield. It's about the whole, the whole lot coming together. And um, it's... Uh, it's a it's a difficult one every time you want to try and pick your team. It really is. But um, you know you can play those games until you're blue in the face, and it doesn't matter what midfield you pick, doesn't matter what shape you pick. The two goals tonight had nothing to do with the midfield, nothing to do with 
the shape of the team. You're going to give them if you're going to give them goals away, you're going to give them goals away. And we've given away, you know, it doesn't matter what formation you play from a corner. You don't play a formation from a corner. You mark men, or you mark a space. And so, you know, we give ourselves two disappointing. Um, we give away two disappointing goals, sorry, and uh, it, it makes it a mountain to climb for yourselves then. And especially when you're at home, your home crowd, they want you to win, they want you to go forward. It's what we want to do, it's what I want to do every time I play. Every time I go out there, I'm a winner. And, you know, nights like tonight don't don't serve me well, that's for sure. Thanks very much, Steve. Steve okay. Cottrell, live on BBC hey, Radio Bristol and BBC Somerset. You're having a good Steve, what, what can you do in practice to address that? Like, you talk about a recurring theme. What, what can you as a coach and a manager do to try and, try and rectify that? Um, well, we work on them every game. You want about set plays there? Thank you. That's more, <laughs> more about the recurring theme of, of goals coming from restart, set pieces. You know, practice them, but we do practice them. Yeah. We do practice them. How do you practice throwing? And you know, it's your throwing in your own half. Well, you know, I mean, you can't set that up, can you? Well, you can. You can actually. Yeah. I mean, what's happened is the ball into the midfield player is okay from the throw. Then we've actually seen the pass back. We've given the ball away, haven't we? From the first pass back. And then the guy who's taking the throw is that position. Yes. Yes. So, you know, you can't. You know, there's not. There's not a lot. You know, he, I could have done that ten times in training. And he does it, and he looks at me and he thinks, "Why, why, why am I still doing this?" Because they think you're stupid, if you know what I mean. You know, you can you can replicate, replicate, replicate. We do that. We do it every day, so as they know what they're doing. Um, and it's not for us. I mean, I'm being funny. There's nothing difficult about a throw-in, if you know what I mean. He's either too close. If he is, don't throw it. If he's too marked, don't throw it. Try and find your space. And, and we we sort of. Um, we messed up a little bit from the throw-in, and then we didn't recover. Um, and on a night like tonight, when you've got your defenders backing off of the box, it's awful situation for them to be in, you know. And markers, you know, we we will have markers every day of the week, and and we know where they run. We know where they run. I mean, Webster from the second goal ended up coming from an area that we spoke about yesterday. But but uh, if a marker knocks off, there's not a lot you can do. They're all given their designated markers. This is not a book passing. This just is, this is what we do. You know, this is what we do. Um, so that's a concentration in part, do you think, Steve? Well, I don't. I mean, you can go as deep as you like. At the end of the day, if I ask you to mark someone, you've got to mark him. If I tell you where he's going to go, I can't do anything more than that. I can tell you on the last six games where Webster goes for their corners. And he went to the same place. We showed that yesterday on video. But look, you know, what we don't want to do is do we want to get into a blame culture here. You know? When we get beat, it's us. When they do well, it will always be them in my eyes. So And to be fair, they showed a fair bit of spirit second half. No, they have. I mean at the end of the day, I mean you walk across that pitch and you try and play football yeah, on it. And to be fair, I thought both th both teams tonight tried to play. I mean at the end of the day, probably on that pitch, I mean we didn't deserve to lose a game tonight. We didn't deserve to lose a game tonight, you know. I don't, I don't know what. Back those seats, don't yeah, would it be great if you can get one up? Would it be great for me? Because that means I don't have to go in. I don't have to take a young player off at half time when I'm trying to keep them all confident, and then I have to take players off later in the game. You know, it would be nice for me to actually sit and watch a game and finish a game with the starting eleven, just actually relax and enjoy it a little bit. But there's always. You know, there's there's been something, but I've accepted that, and I know I know it's going to be like that. I know it's going to be like that. You know, so I understand. I understand the situation. I've been in the game a long time. So just looking ahead, how is Carly Osborne? Um, I don't I don't really know enough at this moment in time. Um, he was in this morning. I I will hopefully know a little bit more Thursday or Friday this week. Um, he's I don't know. His injury will become um, more important now because of Scott Wagstaff. He looks like he's popped a shoulder joint, so that's that's a bit of a blow for us tonight. It's all come down the same side, in terms of injuries. Yeah, yeah, yeah.